welcome to the third and last part of what is every country in the world best at. Pakistan is the cheapest country to live in the world. It costs $370 per month to live there. Pakistan also produces the most footballs in the world and it has the largest Muslim population. Palau created the world's first sanctuary to protect sharks. Today, the sanctuary protects an area of 600,000 square kilometers. Panama's capital, Panama City, is the only capital city in the world that has a rainforest within the city limits. Look, it's right here. Bros in Papua New Guinea speak 840 languages. What the heck? They also have the most percentage of its population living in rural areas, with 86.42% to be exact. Paraguay has the largest navy without a coastline, so Paraguay doesn't even have a coastline, yet they have a navy. This navy went to war two times in the War of the Triple Alliance against Brazil, Argentina and Uruguay and the Chaco War against Bolivia. The largest parade of Honda motorcycles was set in Peru with a total of 1,180 motorcycles and the record still stands today. The Philippines is the only majority Christian nation in Asia. 80% of its population are Christian people. That's wild if you compare it to its neighboring countries. Poland is Europe's largest silver producer with 1,300 tons of silver and also Poland has the largest population of bisons in the world with 1,800 still roaming around the country. According to World Population Review, which is basically the site I use to get all of my videos, Portugal has the friendliest people in the world. Now the only country that starts with Q, which is Qatar. Qatar has the most men compared to women. So remember I was saying that Armenia has the most women compared to men? Well, in Qatar there are 266 men for 100 women. But the reason is pretty obvious. Oh, by the way, Qatar has the most expensive beer at $11. Czechs won't be proud of this one. Romania is the country that goes the earliest to bed at 11.03 p.m., which is so early compared to our countries. Meanwhile, Russia and UAE are doing it so late, in fact, it is at 1.05 a.m. Romania also has the highest home ownership rate at 95.3% only 4% being renters. Russians are obviously the best drinkers of vodka. They consume 17 shots of vodka every month on average. Bro, that is messed up. I only drink like one shot and I'm already gone. Russia also produces the most diamonds with 42 million tons. They're playing too much Minecraft. Diamond! <laughs> Rwanda was the first country in the world to nationally ban plastic mm. bags in 2008. Currently, plastic bags are banned in Kenya and Thailand, so Rwanda is pretty unique in this way. St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest country in the Western Hemisphere. It is just 261 km square. St. Lucia is home to more Nobel laureates per capita than any country in the world. It is the first country to have a Nobel Prize in both literature and economics, which are their only Nobel Prizes, actually. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the first country in the Caribbean to have a volcano-powered energy plant. It is expected to provide up to 10 megawatts of electricity, enough for 20% of the country's energy needs because they have a volcano. Samoa has the highest rate of brain drain in the world. What is brain drain? It's emigration of highly skilled individuals from a country to another country, proving that Samoa has a lot of intellectuals, and it is followed by Jamaica and Palestine. San Marino is the country with the most cars per capita. For every person in San Marino, there are 1.3 cars, meaning that there are more cars than people in San Marino. San Marino is also the oldest republic in the world, created in the year of 301. Sao Tome and Principe has the second highest literacy rate in Africa with 94% only after Seychelles. Saudi Arabia is the country that wakes up the latest at 8.27 am and that is just the average. They are also the second largest producer of oil, but they used to be the largest producer a while back. The closest country to America in Africa is Senegal because it is the westernmost country of Africa. 
Serbia has the best tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic, and I'm saying that without a doubt. He's better than Roger Federer, I'm sorry. Also, Serbia had one of the best Jedi in the world, and that was Nikola Tesla. And that's where the name Tesla actually comes from. Seychelles is home to the world's largest seed, the Coco de Mer, which can weigh up to 15 kilograms. It is also the least populated country in Africa, but it's pretty developed. Sierra Leone is the roundest country in the world. I guess they're proud of that. Singapore has the best road quality in the world. It has the highest railroad density, efficiency of transport services, and overall the highest rating of infrastructure quality. And it also has the best medical care in the world. It's not South Korea, but it is indeed Singapore. Slovakia had the highest score in an international ice hockey match. It was the 82 nil win against Bulgaria in the pre-Olympic women's qualification match in an ice hockey match. 82 nil. Slovenia has the most beekeepers per capita in the world. I talked about this in a previous video and it has 5 beekeepers per 1000 people. South Africa is the country that wakes up the earliest. They wake up on average at 8.24 am. And keep in mind that it's just the average. The country has the most rhinos in the world with 18,000. Now maybe a lot of you guys are gonna argue but I found several sources claiming that Spain is the best country to live in the world as the cost of living is not that high and it has a high quality of life. Again, I'm taking the information from my favorite site, World Population Review. The world's tallest artificial Christmas tree was in Sri Lanka. It was 72 meters tall. Also, talking about trees, the oldest known human planted tree was also planted in Sri Lanka. It is about 2,300 years. Sudan's the country of the most pyramids. It has 240 pyramids to be exact and Egypt's only second with 139. Also, Sudan is the largest producer of gum. Yeah, 70% of its exports come from Sudan. South Sudan, on the other hand, is the youngest country in the world. Yeah, it gained its independence in 2011. It is also one of the most dangerous countries in the world and with the least electricity, unfortunately. Suriname is the most forested country in the world with 98% of its territory being just forests. And the country has so many forests, in fact, that there is only one cinema room in the whole country. Sweden is home to the largest ice village in the world. It is a village of 140 igloos, with each one of them having a diameter of 4 meters and a height of 2.1 meters, enough for 5 people to fit in and sleep. And um, I can imagine what happened there with the recent temperatures that are taking over the world. People in Switzerland consume the most chocolate, with 8.8 .8 kilograms per person. It is considered one of the best countries in the world from various categories like adventure, agility, heritage, quality of life, and social purposes. But it's not the best country because it is so expensive. Syria has the highest population growth rate with 6.49%. I don't know how that is possible. Taiwan had the longest lasting rainbow in the world. It lasted pretty much 9 hours. Tanzania has the hardest working people, a person working on average 54 hours weekly. That's roughly 8 hours every single day, including Sunday and Saturday. Thailand is the country of the highest motorbike use. 87% of households own at least a motorbike and it is followed by Vietnam and Indonesia, which falls shortly. I don't know why people in Southeast Asia really like motorbikes. Tonga, this one is really interesting. The eruption of the Tonga volcano in January last year has been confirmed as the biggest explosion ever recorded in the atmosphere by modern instrumentation. Also, Tonga is the fastest landmass on Earth. It is moving at a rate of 24 centimeters per year. Pretty cool things about Tonga. Trinidad and Tobago has the world's largest natural reservoir of asphalt that is in the Peach Lake and it contains 10 million tons. Turkey is the country that consumes the most tea. 1,300 cups of tea are consumed annually by a person. How is that even possible? Turkey is also the kebab land. This map pretty much shows how many kebab stores there are. Turkmenistan has the world record for the most people singing in a round. A total of 4,166 
people sang at the same time something of course organized by Asia's North Korea government, which is Turkmenistan. But they are obsessed with Guinness World Records. In fact, they also have the largest parade of bicycles, which was with 1,995 people. And this list is just never ending. I could do a whole video talking about just Turkmenistan. Tuvalu is the most remote country in the world, along with Nauru. Uganda has the second youngest population in the world, with the median age of the country being just 15.7 years old. And 56.6% of its population are people under the age of 20. Quite random, but Uganda has the largest Rolex, that is 204 kilograms and 2.32 meters in length. Ukraine used to be the largest producer of sunflower in the world, with a total of 14.1 million tons. This would have been 345 kilograms of sunflower per person, only if the war didn't start. Is this the reason Russia started the war? United Arab Emirates has the most mobile phones per capita. There are 197 phones for every 100 people, so that means every person has an average of two phones. And it is followed by Seychelles, quite random, and Antigua and Barbuda. United Kingdom had the fastest electric aircraft that was called the Spirit of Innovation, reaching a top speed of 556 kilometers per hour for over 3 kilometers and an average of 532 kilometers per hour over 15 kilometers. And also, United Kingdom has the second best education in the world and the best one in Europe. Uruguay was the first country to win the World Cup and is ranked first for the democracy level in both South America and North America. It is 11th place in the world. That is very impressive for a country in South America. Uzbekistan is the 8th biggest producer of cotton and the biggest one in Central Asia. They produce 59 million tons of cotton in 2022 and it's really impressive for a country in the middle part of Asia. United States has a lot of things that they're first at. Let's go through some of the most important ones. United States has the most Olympic medals in the world with almost 3,000 in total. USA has the largest film industry in the world. It is the largest, oldest and the most profitable film industry in the world. The United States is the only country that has has all of the Earth's five climate zones, the tropical one, the dry one, the temperate one, continental and polar one. And USA also has the most billionaires in the world. Again, as I said with China, USA can be a leader in a lot of categories. And with these three parts, I hope you guys actually saw that by yourself. Vatican City is the only country to have 100% of its population Christian. Oh yeah, and also it is the least populated country in the world, so that is the reason why. Venezuela has the highest inflation rate in the world. It has a lot of negatives, but let's get to the positives. It has the highest waterfall in the world, the Angel Waterfall that is 979 meters tall. And that is taller than Burj Khalifa. Vietnam is home to the largest cave in the world, the Son Dung Cave, where a plane can literally be fit in. Yemen is the only republic in the Arabian Peninsula. In Zambia, the largest emerald was found and it weighed 1.5 oh kilograms. God. Zambia is also the country of the most hippos. It has 37,000 hippos. Vanuatu has the only underwater post office. Yeah, it's the national post office of Vanuatu and it was opened in 2003. It's been 21 years. Tunisia is the country where the most Star Wars movie scenes were filmed in. So Tunisia is also the northernmost country in Africa. So that might be a reason why they actually just chose Tunisia. In Tajikistan, you can find the world's longest glacier, which is outside of the polar regions. It's called Petchenko and it is in eastern Tajikistan and it is 77 kilometers long. So Malia is first when it comes to the longest coastline in mainland Africa. It stretches 3000 kilometers and it is shaped like the number 7. And finally, the last country out of all 197 countries of the world, yeah, excluding some that I couldn't find information about. Well, Zimbabwe has the largest waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls. 
And that is the end of this series. As you can see, all of the videos pretty much took 15 minutes. So it was a lot of work, but I'm very happy that I managed to get it done. And I hope that you guys learned something new. Let me know in the comments, what should I do next? Thanks to Joe guys for being the only member so far. <laughs> I'm saying that every video, hopefully someone else joins him. But that was the whole video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video to more people.